Howdy folks. Today's soap is from Vanguelite, Soap of the Gods. This is the Hercules version of the uh, Butterum Cappuccino. I'll show you what the uh, soap looks like on the inside. You might want to get prepared because it's probably not what one would expect. But yep, there it is. <laughs> it's this color. <laughs> it's a dark brown. It smells fantastic. Um, goat's milk and emu oil, I think, is the base. May need to visit the website just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what the the base of this particular soap is, and it is, smells great. Uh, yes, it really does. I've got the album block, no rubber band. <laughs> it's gonna be like that for a while. And unscented uh, witch hazel, which is methylated, and I got the uh, matching aftershave here that does not contain alcohol. It's a uh, witch hazel based, in other words. Off camera, I'll be using the shaven sailor beard oil. And I mentioned this before. This is a this bowl comes by, uh, by the way of Bangalore. This is when I just rinse out the lather. You can kind of see what kind of soap is left in there. And uh, for some folks, this may be a good thing, may be a bad thing, depends on what you're wanting in a bowl. And uh, I thought I would show you one quote unquote rinsed out, if you will, of the loose stuff to see what it looks like on the inside. And for me. I kind of like it like this. A little bit of extra soap left in the bowl does not bother me. For some folks it might, so if that's the case, the, yeah, this would not be a bowl for you. But I do have it whipped up today in a wooden bowl from the Distinctive Goat. These bowls are beautiful in my opinion. It's got grooves in it, and that's what the soap looks like once it's whipped up. With a Omega brush that's got a synthetic knot, and uh, I think this is referred to as Syntex. And um, some people may not like this particular knot, synthetic knot. For me, it works just fine. Um, it's got just a little bit of a scritch to it. I don't mind scritch. Works well for me. And the shaver of the day is a PAL adjustable injector. You can kind of tell that it still has the uh, slope right there at the end of the shaver. Put your little finger underneath it. There's your adjustments, and it doesn't have numbers as opposed to just low and high and, and marks in between. And I've got a Persona injector blade in there. And I think I'm going to shave with that with all three passes today. But, oh, on the underside, it is plastic right there. And it you can kind of see all the interworkings right there. Maybe that might be a better picture. It's a little tough to keep clean. Just throw that out there. These shavers, uh, the ones I've got, I got, uh, I've got this one here as well as I have a uh, Gillette adjustable injector. Uh, this one here, if you, when you do see them, you know sometimes you may have to pay a little bit more than what you normally would because these aren't always readily available. But I got lucky on mine and uh, caught it real cheap for right around the twenty-five dollar, including the case and whatnot. Fantastic buy. Anyway, sometimes if you're patient and diligent. You can find uh, these shavers uh, on the cheap. It won't be for everyone, of course, because uh, for whatever the reason is, uh, some folks don't get real good shaves with uh, injectors. This might be a good place to start in that it's an adjustable, so you can adjust the shave, the aggressiveness to your liking. Then again, it you know may not matter one way or the other. It's just that the blade selection is seriously limited as far as I know to two companies and neither one of them might suit your needs but if you've kind of been looking into an injector before an adjustable injector might be the route to go because that way you can adjust aggressiveness it's like I said with these blades you're only <laughs> you only got two choices that I'm aware of and uh, they may or may not fit what your needs are, depending on what your beard and skin type is and what you're wanting. The cube is getting a little bit smaller. It's kind of like the Allen block. It seems like it's just never going to go away. It lasts forever. But that was a good chunk of pre-shaved soap, though. This was the, uh, I guess you might say, the first cube that Douglas came out with. And um, I did see a, a Jamie, he had a 
posting a while back of the one that glows in the dark. <laughs> it's pretty cool looking. Just in time for uh, Halloween. Got it whipped up in a yogurt type uh, consistency. Hopefully it's not too wet. In other words, dripping this on my white shirt. My wife will probably let me know about it. it. Smells great. I mean, for my nose and I'm smelling it, even as I was whipping out, this is awesome. Of course, you whip your uh, lather up how you see fit. I have a tendency to whip it up and then I paint it on. It works well for me. I've already put a hot towel to the face as part of my pre-shave routine. I say it's hot towel, it might be closer to a warm towel for some folks. Looks good, Dad. This this is a, could be a problematic soap for some folks because this scent, it, it really does. It smells great. And in other words, it's, uh, if this was in the kitchen, somebody might try to eat it or drink it, either way. It smells great. For me, in my opinion, this is a uh, a shaver that you don't see much in the way of shave of the days or anything like that. And in some cases, might actually, if depending on the seller, you might actually get it cheap like I did. Because pal. Usually fly, it flies underneath the radar for a lot of folks because it's not a Chic, it's not a Gillette. So after that, anything past that seems just to drop off in the way of popularity, if you will. But POW didn't come out with their injectors until after the patents expired. So there's that going against them as it goes for popularity that we're name brand wasn't well known for injectors at that point in time. Didn't have years and years of uh, exposure to get that name recognition for an injector. I can always tell with uh, most injectors with uh, my hair growth where, where I got a part that grows kind of funny because how it slices through, I can feel, sometimes it feels different, I guess you might say, right there is a spot. Got another one over here, but it's just kind of odd sometimes how you can feel as it cuts through that hair that it, it changes, the feeling does. Got a little bit more than 24 hours worth of growth, so. Tell you what, this is good soap. This soap depends if you, uh, uh, it, oh, I should say it's three ounces in a container and uh, $7.99. And if you want menthol added to it, it's a dollar more. But if you're looking for soap that's uh, in a smaller quanti quantity and even cheaper, this would be a uh, an avenue to go. Tomorrow I will be shaving with the Aquarius version of these. Ones of, in other words, uh, if I remember correctly, that's the vegan version. And uh, <laughs> it's one of my, another one of my favorite scents. I have to say I'm kind of stuck on some of these as it goes for scents. Uh, in other words, tobacco. I really like tobacco. It smells great. And uh, it coming right off the puck as soon as you open the container. Now for me, when it comes to slickness, glide, either one of the Aquarius or the uh, Hercules version works well for me. And especially at that price point. For some folks, you can kind of see where it might hit a spot for them. May not need the, the, the larger tub. May not even have room for it and uh, want to spend some less money but still get a quality so these two are probably something you might want to look at 
stents, in other words, there's a huge variety of stents to be chosen from. And take a moment, and if you look, if you're interested, when you look at uh, her descriptions down below for each one, you'll notice that she mentions that one for clone sense is better suited for one version as opposed to the other. Can't remember well, one of these has honey in it. Can't remember right off the top of my head, but anyway, you might want to take a look at it if you're interested in clone sense. That uh, one's better suited for clone sense than the other. Some of this, uh, in the way of, uh, I guess you might say what I'm sharing, is uh, also, I guess you might say, orientated to folks that perhaps just want to get their shave on, but they're not wanting to break the bank in doing so. Which I understand. Especially, for instance, if you have a small space to store your stuff in, you may only want just a, a few soaps. Another one I'll mention as it goes for offering a smaller puck would be a, a Wild Blush Shaving Russell. And he has a pretty good selection of soaps too. If I remember right, his is a two ounce version. So in other words, you're talking about a very small container. And, uh, that will be starting on Monday with a number of those soaps there. I say Monday, it might be Tuesday. I haven't quite decided. I've got a soap that I've been wanting to shave with here pretty soon. So, On that particular setting for me, um, I could probably do... Um, might be considered a two and a half pass at this point. I still feel because of the direction the way it grows. In other words, against the green pass is pretty much needed to catch uh, what I've got under here. My cheeks though are pretty well smooth already. Uh, that's just on that setting alone. So something you'll have to experiment with if you get one of these is what settings work best for you. If you're looking for a really close, you know, somewhat closer uh, shave on your on your neck, you might want to uh, adjust your setting to be a bit more aggressive. Or if you're concerned about irritation, you might want to drop it down. And that's just shaving on your neck. That's one thing nice about an adjustable, especially this one here. You can change it, you know, shave shave your cheeks, you know against the grain one setting and then on the neck just flip it over real easy and that way you're not getting irritation on your neck on something that's preset and not adjustable. Might make it easier for you to get a better shave. There's a little bit of feedback. On the against the green pass. I really like this shaver. But they, like I say, injectors, because of the blade, if you're concerned about it, you might want to start with an inexpensive adjustable first. Because if you can't get a smooth, comfortable shave with a, an adjustable injector, it's probably not for you just because, like I say, the blade choice is so limited. In other words, it's not quite like a DE. There's hordes of blades to be choosing from. I have a feeling. I was going to say, I think I missed one right there. I 
Yep, this is going to work. Poche feel. It's pretty smooth on my cheeks. I think as time goes on, as uh, as I put the alum on and aftershave and all that sort of thing, that the uh, poche feels going to probably be pretty good. It does feel, you know, it's just with the soap that's left on there, it still feels pretty good. In other words, my face doesn't feel dry or anything quite like that. I've never had that issue with her soaps, with Monica soaps. You can tell I don't have any problems lathering them up either. They lather rather nice. And if you're relatively new to my channel, I've only been wet shaving since basically the beginning of April of 2015. Do I have a little bit of stingy right through there? And I kind of thought I might because the way that was cut through the growth right through there. Sometimes I can tell, sometimes I had never even noticed. It's just like that one. I was weeping yesterday. It would, it's not opened back up, so it did a pretty good job healing up. I still smell the soap. <laughs> As it goes for the, um, show you what I'm uh, looking at. Uh, this is Persona. This is uh, commonly referred to as the mini hair shaper blades, and you can kind of see this uh, container and what it looks like and I guess we'll match them up like this I've done this before but maybe you haven't seen it before they look identical with the exception of the key and this one here is more for shavers that don't need the key and uh, this one here came from supply and uh, I really believe that these are basically the same Make her both of these are persona, I do believe. Just one's marked and one's not. But um, as it goes for finding these, uh, price wise, they, they're kind of all over the map. Uh, you can get 20 for 10 ish dollars, 10 or plus or minus a dollar or whatever. But uh, if you're willing to go to, uh, in my opinion, a clunky website, uh, Ted Pella. Uh, they sell uh, blades for, you know, hospitals and so on and so forth. Well, they're going to have these available. And uh, for right around, I think, four fifty dollars shipping, that's the part that I'm uh, not too terribly excited about, how they handle the shipping. They will send you an email to tell you how much the shipping is, and then, uh, then you know what your total price is. So... Uh, for me, that I didn't really, don't really like that. I like to know what my shipping is when I place my order, as opposed to later on. But if you can get past that hurdle, <laughs> now if I remember correctly, the the shipping wasn't out of line per se. It was just fine in my opinion. Uh, but I do appreciate having uh, that information up front, and that website does not operate that way. So that is something to think about when you're ordering. Plus, if you're in a position, instead of just ordering, in other words, just one package of injectors, in other words, stock up on them, take advantage of the shipping, and as well with uh, Monica's uh, aftershaves, you do need to shake them up. That's just typical with her aftershaves. And her aftershaves, uh, like I say, they're pretty inexpensive in my opinion. Um, it's more expensive than, let's say, Brute in the store. These are $10, but I feel that what you're getting quality-wise with uh, with her aftershaves, you're getting a better buy here. What's in the aftershave that's skin food, if you will, this one does a better job of hitting that mark. And the fact also, if you're looking for something that does not contain alcohol, um, this would be one to look at. Um, alcohol and aftershaves, You'll see both spectrums. Some say, you know, they like it. It's okay to have. Some say, no, that's the worst thing you put on your face. You'll have to be the judge of that. For me, when I first started this, it was more about the price than I figured out the skin thing. 
Oh, and the scent of this is just, ah, uh, it is great. I really like it. Butter rum. I smell butter rum. I love that candy when I was a kid. So that's the reason why I guess you might say I really gravitated to this when I, when I first found it. thought, oh, I have got to get me some of that because this scent is just spot on. Yeah, I'll be smelling like this all day. It'll be stuck in my nose. At any rate, like I said, that's what it looks like on the inside. There we go. Don't have a lick of trouble out of getting to lather up if you're wondering about it. Tomorrow I'll use the Aquarius version so that you can kind of see what it looks like. Still the same price range, $7.99. Um, to me, it's a, it's a great value. Had a great shave. Today is Saturday. So I know there's football games on. <laughs> Some folks are going to be tied up for a while. <laughs> Stay safe and smooth shades to you.